Kaylin's Coffee Talk on Spotify showing exactly my one here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any food to eat. <laughs> Tell me if you're really there Don't make me fall in love again If he won't be here next year Santa, tell me if he really cares Cause I can't give it all away If he won't be here next year Feeling Christmas I know we're at the... and I'm It's gonna look to weird I probably wear like 50 shades of grey going for if you haven't heard me mention it I'm gonna mention it a million times I always listen to Kaylin's coffee talk on Spotify it's this podcast that I've been listening to for quite a while now I used to always listen to it on the way to yoga can I get one tall um, pike place with one packet of Splenda and cream anyway hey what's up good morning everyone I'm at the Starbucks drive-thru right now a almost last day of orientation which is terrifying but kind of exciting at the same time um, let me put this down so I don't embarrass myself because I have had it before where I like, have asked about the camera and asked if I'm recording them. And I finally got my new badge, which is nice. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you later because my camera keeps swinging all over the place. Enjoy thinking about the things we're working on can sweep up so much excitement and so much energy but where you're not gonna be okay, so I finally made it to my destination our meetup time is at 10 right now it's like 9 30 so a little bit of time I know that we have like the self-defense class today and then I'm not really sure I guess we're doing more skills and just completing a lot more paperwork I don't know if this is too much Maybe I'm obstructing somebody's view. Um, I do want to send it out to everyone else on here. If you have any questions, leave them down below because I posted it on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, you should. Um, and I also answered some questions already on Snapchat, but I'm going to re repeat them in my Q&A video because I know a lot of people were asking similar questions, so I just feel like it's best for me just to um, answer them in a video format. So yeah, don't forget to leave your questions down below. Anyway. Thank you to Starbucks for always giving me coffee. I am just sitting in the parking lot right now, enjoying my morning. I worked out this morning, if you didn't already see. I love the cycling bike. I think it's just so easy and mindless. And the fact that it's indoors instead of me going to the treadmill makes my life so much easier. And it's not electric, so that's my favorite part about it. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend doing mindless cardio if you don't like actually working out. Um, I just haven't had time to really think about my workouts lately, so that's what I've been doing to kind of like, you know, try and keep fit during this weird time. I just don't feel comfortable going to the gym. I don't know if anyone saw the photo that I posted um, of when I went to the 24 outdoor gym. It was just so disgusting. I couldn't even handle it. So everyone was just so close together. I didn't feel comfortable working out. I was there for maybe like, maybe like 20 minutes and I like dipped out they do give you 90 minutes to work out but I just could not handle them I also do want to switch out my badge rail want to know where this Baymax one is from it's from um, um, Amazon and I think it's linked on my Amazon storefront so if you want to check it out it'll be there showing exactly I am gonna return these I'm gonna clean my car 
I have quite a few things planned for today, so hopefully they don't fall through. Ah, man, I can't believe my orientation week is almost over. I only have one week with a preceptor, and then I'm essentially on my own, which is insane because this hospital is significantly bigger than my last one. Um, the last one I worked at, it maxed out at like 21 beds versus this one has 36 and then there's three different pods as opposed to the other one I was working at. It's just one whole emer emergency room. I don't know why I'm stuttering today. Um, but this one is like pot A, B, and C. So there's like one that's um, clean, there's one that's COVID, and then the third one I have no idea what it is. It's just another pod but i know that they're my last hospital we had like something called epod i don't know why it's called epod don't ask me um but i would get stuck there a lot because i was a mid shifter and they would only open that up when we're super super busy and then obviously the ratios are a lot different here so i'm learning that there's so many different things that even though the criteria for a lot of things are the same like we start a line we get labs we do paracentesis we do intubations things are similar but the way the flow of things are a lot different and they said that we might struggle the most on charting because this company is particularly big on charting which kind of scares me but at the same time i'm always been fairly thorough with my charting i think that an advantage to it is that I type really fast um, so shout out to my computer class teacher whoever the hell that was definitely recommend getting fast at typing because it will help you especially if you want to go in the ER but yeah charting will be a challenge and just navigating because it's so big and we have to learn it within three shifts it's scary but it's also exciting I think it'll be a lot different than my old hospital um, just the dynamic in general I'm gonna miss a lot of the people though because I feel like everything was so close together. They gave us a tour and like the doctor's lounge is so far away from where the nurses is, nurses are. So before it would be like the nursing station and the back of it is like the doctor's like um, dictation area. And oh my god, it was so convenient because whenever I would like be on the phone and I'd get a critical, I'd just be like, hey doctor whatever, the critical was this. So it's really nice. But here, you have to like run all the way over to the other side and tell them, then come back. But I guess they have these like microphones where you can call other people. So I guess you can call the doctor. And then they also have a messaging system where you can message non-urgent things. But obviously you wouldn't use that for like critical labs. But yeah. Oh my gosh. So we were touring the area at one point and they said that they used to have a room 13 and you know in hospitals we don't have room 13s they said because first of all there was someone who like killed themselves um like hung themselves in room 13 and then there was another patient who was fully healthy who went into full arrest so 13 is not a number that we use here in the hospital just so you know it's almost time for me to go actually um i might eat a little something i did bring my lunch again I really desperately need to clean this car. It's so awful in here. Shoot me your questions down below, um, and I'm going to be answering them in another Vlogmas. I wanted to extend the invitation to everyone on here because I know that not everyone follows me on Instagram. So don't forget to shoot down your comments down below of any questions you have for me, and I will answer them. If you want them to be anonymous, um, let me know because, yeah, otherwise I'm going to show your name. So. Don't be too embarrassed. I'm hungry. I'm just gonna eat a little bit of this coffee cake. Normally try it intermittent fast, but I'm so hungry I can't stand it. It's not my favorite, but I'll eat a little bit more of it just to keep me full. Hey, what's up everyone? So we just got done with that portion of our orientation and it was just essentially us doing all the modules that we had to do. Um, I am getting a little bit hungry now, but I don't know if I have. I have like an hour break now, so I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna actually return my stuff from Kohl's so that I don't have to do that whenever I get off because I get off around like five. So I'm gonna do that. Shout out again to my little off for always packing my lunch because otherwise I wouldn't have any food to eat. You have an hour, that's so long. But I'm gonna return this to Kohl's and then maybe there's a car wash nearby because I kind of want to get a car wash too. It's 
It's super quick. Oh my god. Like, that's what I love about Amazon. Because yeah, you don't even have to deliver it. Yep. Or ship it. Let me throw out all my garbage in here. There's literally so much trash. I feel like I've been living in my car or something. God. Uh, okay, BRB. <laughs> Hi, hello. So, it's quite a bit later. I am going to edit my video right now, but I finished my class around 5, and we did, like, so many, like, self-defense things. If you haven't taken that class, it's called ABAD. Um, you just learn a bunch of, like, self-defense stuff, and, like, how to do... For us, we do, like, restraints. So it was interesting, um, but I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs and grabbed my camera. But I did want to um, close out this vlog to say thank you everyone for watching and don't forget to